Web 2.0 is a term popularized by O'Reilly Media and Media Live International as the name for a service of web development conferences that started in October 2004. After Dale Daughtery mentioned it during a brainstorming session, Daughtery suggested that the web was in a renaissance with changing rules and evolving business models. It has since come to refer to what some people see as a second phase of architecture and application development for the World Wide Web. Web 2.0 applications often use a combination of technologies derived in the late 1990s. Many allow for mass publishing, so the term arguably also includes weblogs and wikis. To some extent, Web 2.0 has become a buzzword incorporating whatever is newly popular on the web, such as tags and podcasting, and a consensus on its exact meaning has not yet been reached. With its allusion to the version number that commonly designates software upgrades, Web 2.0 was a natural way to indicate an improved form of the World Wide Web, and the term has been in occasional use for several years. The participants of the first Web 2.0 conference in October of 2004 assembled examples of Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 applications and software. DoubleClick is Web 1.0 in that you choose the content to put on your site. Google AdSense is Web 2.0 where AdSense reads your site and then recommends ads for your site based off your website's focus. Kodak Express is Web 1.0 you upload your pictures to Kodak and they can print them off for you. Flickr is Web 2.0 in that users upload and share photos with the Flickr community, a social community of people sharing photos that then can be printed by anyone. An earlier usage of the phrase Web 2.0 as a synonym for somatic web and indeed the two concepts complement each other. The combination of social networking systems such as blogs and wikis with the development of tag-based delivered media creates a natural basis for a somatic environment. Although the technologies and services that comprise Web 2.0 are less powerful than an internet in which the machines can understand and extract meaning, the power of social networking and new delivery methods of information to users is creating information at an astounding rate. The transition of websites from isolated information silos to sources of content and functionality, thus becoming a computing platform serving web applications to end users. A social phenomenon is distributing web content itself, characterized by open communication, decentralization of authority, freedom to share and reuse, and the market as a conversation. Web 2.0 creates more organized and categorized content with a far more developed deep linking web architecture. Web 2.0 also includes a shift in economic value of the web, possibly surpassing that of the dot-com boom of the late 1990s. The web has become an advertiser's paradise using tools like Google AdSense that focuses advertising based on the information on a developer site. The resurgence of excitement around the possibilities of inventive web applications and service saw an explosion of Web 2.0 tools in 2005. Innovation and open source projects hit an all-time high. More collaboration between people on the web started to occur. Many find it easiest to define Web 2.0 by associating it with companies or products that embody its principles. Some of the more well-known Web 2.0 entitles are Google Maps, Flickr, Delicious, Dig, and Technorati. Many recent developed concepts and technologies are seen as contributing to Web 2.0, including weblogs, link logs, wikis, podcasts, RSS feeds, and other forms of publishing. Proponents of Web 2.0 concepts say that it differs from early web development, retroactively labeled Web 1.0, in that it is a move away from static websites, the use of search engines and surfing, from one website to the next, to a more dynamic and interactive World Wide Web. Perhaps web content will become less under the control of specialized so-called web designers and closer to Tim Berner-Lee's original concept of the web as a democratic, personal, and do-it-yourself medium of communication. Content is less likely to flow through email and more likely to be posted on an attractive web page and distributed by RSS feeds. 
Over the coming weeks, I hope to introduce you to some of the fascinating software that the Web 2.0 has produced. So look for Web 2.0 headlines and upcoming editions of Utech Tips.